get him out in any way. Mm. In a matter of fact, even the president mentioned last week, I mm. think, mm. that uh, there is no necessity for any pardoning or anything at this particular moment. Mm. So then the next obvious option is the UMP. Mm. The UMP is basically saying, we have got to form a government, get every single vote in, and that's our first point of operation. We'll ensure Sarat Fonseca is ready because it's an illegal operation. There's no ju justice that is being meted out at him, and certainly that is. But sympathy does not help to get Sarat Fonseca out. Yeah. This is the difference. So you need to form a government, and that is where you don't lo need to lose out bonus seats in order to do that. Ravi, do you feel uh, that uh, there is a possibility of a national government uh, that uh, uh, after the 8th of April and uh, prospects for it, uh, longevity, sustainability, uh, acceptability, all of those issues? My feeling comes, you, um, I'm, I'm looking very pos positively and yeah. prospectively from my, our side sure. of view. Sure, sure. Yes, UMP yeah. wins. Yeah. We'll certainly call in a national government. Because I think... 62 years of independence and we have gone nowhere yeah. and we are just caught up in a major whirlpool where we are just stuck in one place. Yeah. And I think we need to come out of these shackles of power, get in and put a pro-Sri Lankan operation. When I say that, is national policies to be put to place. I would suggest that, you know, the best thing forward, mm. anything, uh, any party coming in, that national government concept needs to be brought in. So, you so otherwise, we are going nowhere. But you're very much in favor of I am that. certainly in favor. But political of reconciliation is tough, isn't it, Ravi? Well, I mean, we are living in a culture where, let's not kid ourselves. I mean, this is not uh, kumbaya, where everybody hugs each other after elections and everything is hunky-dory. Uh, you know, would you be willing to, you know, reach out that, that hand of reconciliation? Uh, political reconciliation needs to come from mine. We are the ones who are us for 17 years. I am... Uh, but you're open to I am that. a member of parliament that has been taken 48 times. Yeah. I have been accused of... You know, from bombing Shahrukh Khan to you know, uh, corrupt parliament, everything, but they come two months later and say sorry and you kiss and say yeah. goodbye. So yeah. reconciliation needs to come from. But we still, there's a necessity on behalf of the citizens of this country, and I think we have to be mature enough to go forward on that. I want to link a question I have on the economy of the, of the country with. Uh, uh, something that you said about the foreign policy earlier, which is that there is no foreign policy. But one could argue, as was reported in a leading Sunday paper recently, that uh, we are now outsourcing uh, our foreign policy to uh, <laughs> PR companies like Bell Pottinger uh, at the cost of, we don't know. Yeah. Um, there, there is uh, published costs of a half a million US uh, uh, dollars. Of course, uh, this is not new. In 2001, there was a rift between the then foreign minister, the late uh, Lakshman Kadragama, and the then president. Uh, <coughs> Chandika Kumartunga about a similar vast payment made to uh, the same company. Now, on the one hand, the point is that we seem to be able to afford these uh, behemoth, colossal payments, uh, perhaps from taxpayers' money, we don't really know. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the economy doesn't seem to be doing too well. Um, is this discrepancy you feel felt at the ground? Uh, it is definitely felt. Today, c companies are in a, in a tailspin. Yeah. You know, cash flows are very difficult. Yeah. Profit is not seen. But from all indications, uh, uh, some of us have been hearing, and certainly as reported in the media, where is the public outro, Ravi? Where is the constant? That is the sadness. It's, yeah. it's a fear psychosis that yeah. is on. Yeah. I mean, so you, you feel that there's a fear psychosis? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. And the worst thing is sometimes, Good people being silent mm. is worse than, you know, yeah. the bad people coming out and doing wrong crimes. Yeah. So I think it is necessary for civic society to get up. Sometimes they might say, why, what the hell is the politician doing yeah. that? We certainly are doing it. Yeah. But at this particular moment, we need the mass and mass support. The critical mass is critical. What about the economy? I mean, uh, my frank feeling is that's the make and the break of a particular country. We have inflation, which is disguised at the moment. We are running at at least 10 to 15 percent. Yeah. We have public debt that has gone up 180 percent in four years. Mm. Simply impossible. Mm. Our per debt increased mm. from 94,000 in 2005, Jan 1st, to uh, 2010, January 1st. Mm. 94,000 become 255,000. Mm. Then you are basically borrowing just well beyond our means. I mean, mm. if you're earning 100,000, there's no point taking a loan with your repayment is 1 million. So, yeah. and, your, and your debt servicing is extremely... Debt servicing yeah, is yeah. absolutely... Yeah. At the particular moment, our debt servicing is 920 million capital yeah. plus interest, sure. and our revenues are only 722 billion. Mm. So w before you start anything else, mm. you're in a debt trap. Mm. You are having a, a difference between your uh, income and your uh, expenditure. Mm. So how are we going forward? So end of the day, it's just passing day by day into a bigger, huge volcanic problem in the economy. You know, the New York Times are a very senior columnist. I mean, this is a more general question. Uh, 
recently looked at uh, an American presidential election, not Obama's one, and said that uh, of the two candidates at the day, of the day at the time, uh, George Bush was one, uh, one candidate offered very much what you're offering, hard, cold statistics, intellectualism. The other uh, uh, was more emotional, uh, appealed to, uh, you know, the common, simple man. Uh, uh, of course, they had two very different policies. C could one make the same argument here that the party, in a sense, your party, uh, which might have the more robust arguments, nevertheless fails to communicate it uh, well, to people? I mean, it, 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 it's not, it's, there's a disconnect there. I mean, you're, you're, you're right in the sense that our message may not be coming in in a manner which adds you know, the necessary to, um, uh, the spins that are there. Yeah. And but lack that of might not be spin. It <laughs> might be, I don't know, it might be a communicative style, Some it might be language, the expression, the way in which you engage, but uh, the don't message, I don't know. At the end of the day, yeah. isn't it substance? 17 years, the government has been ruling. Yeah. You've been moving from one, uh, one sunshine store to another, mm. and we are gone from hell to heaven, or mm. heaven to hell. Mm. So on that particular basis, doesn't the people feel there is a distinct uh, difference between what is being told and what is being done. Mm. Now, that is where I feel mm. is that the media plays a pivotal role and the government media that has this going to every nook and corner of the country gets the edge of everybody else because there has been a story saying, you know, here the, the behavior of a particular one. Sarat Fonseca, they imitated the Idi Amin type of thing mm. and you suddenly had a ladies vote that was going against. Mm. Now, that is what we see in hindsight. So on that score, all, your, all the activities of five years of hard work can be knocked out in a day because of the fact that your last story seen is remembered much more than the five and a half years of misery. But do remittances support the government? Well, remittances do support the government, but the foreign remittances that impact on the people, I don't think can distort to that extent because mm. when they have money in their hands, mm. then poverty does not answer that question. But if poverty is the answer, now in 94, you had 53, oh, sorry, 43 percent of the population getting uh, uh, hand up yeah. from the yeah. handouts from the government. But now it is 51 percent. So over the last 17 years, your poverty has increased. Mm. Now that is what the government wants to do. They maintain poverty mm. because then you have a link between you give the vote and we will protect your poverty. Mm. Now that is not what is expected of a government. You have to eradicate poverty. So that is what is maintained and go for. Some political commenters, coming back to hard politics, have pointed to the recent speech by the leader of the opposition in, in Jaffna, I think it was the first campaign speech, uh, uh, where he apologized um, for, 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 the, for the killings. And, and it was a controversial speech for some, um, in a sense suggesting that uh, what some political commentators feel as the appeasement of the LTT by the UNP is something that the party still hasn't come out of uh, and that the voters will remember this uh, and that the party is still seen to be an entity uh, during the CFA, you know, the, 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 the Norwegian uh, uh, mediated process, uh, that, that that history, that bad taste uh, is, is something that the party itself has not acknowledged. I mean, do you feel that's a, it's a valid criticism? It is certainly not a valid criticism. Yeah. Our policies are not bent on a particular terrorist organization or not. We may make our policies for Tamil uh, citizens of this country, yeah. the Muslims of this country. And the, the strength of our party as well as our country, we believe, the, the social fabric of it. May, I'll, ask, I'll ask you that in a different way. Would you think, uh, perhaps not sp speaking personally, could anything have been done differently um, during the CFA time? And why did it fail? Now tell me CFA. Even, even President Rajapaksa admits that Karuna's uh, entry into the democratic team was one area which helps to win. Now, if the CFA were not there, yeah. do you think that could have been a case? No. So every step has been taken in the right direction. I don't think any president did want to procrastinate the decision. Yeah. Everyone had his own way of getting it forward. Why do you think it failed? Well, it didn't fail. Uh, unfortunately, time, mm. there was a, a battle between the executive and the parliamentary legislature, where Ranil yeah. was the prime minister, yeah. Tandika was the executive, and there was no trust with the two. Yeah. That helped us to move forward. Mm. In hindsight now, what, all, all of them are talking otherwise. Mm. But my feeling is if that was cemented at that time, 
there would have been a huge difference that mm. was there. So my feeling is the step was in the right direction, mm. but in a wrong uh, time. Ravil, I don't want to go into the domain of speculation as to what happens on April 8th. I think we can talk till you know the cows, <laughs> cows come home. Um, but 